First thing first, let's reproduce direct results on my own machine. How do we do that? On the report, we can click on the run table and click on the baseline run. This will redirect us to the workspace. Once on the workspace, you can click on the overview tab. Here we can see all the information relevant to the run. We see that Darek ran this on November 14. We can see the version of Python that was used, the Git repo where the code lives, and the state of the Git repo. We can also see hardware information like the GPU that was used for training. Scrolling down, you get the most artifacts, inputs and outputs that the run consume and produce. If you scroll down, you see the output parameters. We also see the output parameters values that were used for training. We are almost there for reproducing the direct experiment. There is an extra goodie that Weights and Bias provides you for free. It automatically detects the Python packages that were used during training, creating this handy Conda environment file that you can use to recreate the same environment that was used. Every single Python package is pinned, so you will reproduce exactly what the machine was using at the moment of training. You can click to download the file, and now we are ready to reproduce the experiment. Let's switch to a terminal. Once in the terminal, the first thing I will do is check that the git commit match. You can do this by using git log, and check that the hash is the same that the reported by weights and biases. We are okay. I have already created a folder called lesson two where we will put our work. I have already also copied the conda environment file. When extra step is needed, we will need to copy the baseline Let's take a look at the file. This will create an environment called course, and we will install every single Python package that is in this list. Every single package is pinned, so we will get the exact same version. Let's go ahead and create the environment. You can do this by calling conda m create and passing the environment file. This will take a while, so let's fast forward to the environment already created. Let's activate the environment. Let's bring the baseline file so we can reproduce Darek's experiment. Now we will launch Jupyter and run this notebook. Once inside Jupyter, I can open the baseline file and I will run every single cell in order. To do so, you can call run, restart kernel and run all. Reproducing this baseline run is a crucial step when you're taking over someone's work. Let's make sure that the notebook is running correctly. The Weights and Biases run is created and training should start soonly. Let's see the progress bar increasing. We love progress bars. Okay, the model is training fine. Let's fast forward to the end of the training. You can scroll down to the end of the notebook and click on the run link. This will bring you to the workspace. Okay, we get the metrics we're expecting and the table with the model predictions. We can go back to the workspace and compare this run against the baseline run. As you can see, both runs overlap perfectly. Let's make sure of that. Let's switch to table view. Hmm, the metrics looks exactly the same. Now we're in a good spot to start refactoring baseline and improving the results.